Hi, everybody. Well, I'm going to try to do this fashion show today. I'm out in the back deck. I've hung some of the shawls up for now so you can get an idea. When I go to do the video, I'll do a voiceover and tell you about the different garments. That, that is Lost in Time shawl. That is Hedwig the Owl shawl. And that is the side-to-side -side granny shawl. And I will have all of the details in the description box, as usual, patterns, yarn used, and all that. So this is going to be on and off because I have to change. There'll be a section of shawls and a section of sweaters. So on to the next section. Okay, the last two shawls I have, that's the Island Hug Shawl. And that is the Tunisian Void Shawl. Now, some of these you may have seen, but I figured I'm going to do the fashion show. I may as well show them. So I'm just showing you the shawls before I put them on because I won't be talking while I, quote, model them. This should be funny. I'm doing this on my back deck so you can get a view of the backdrop here. And if these flies will just quit buzzing me. So we'll pause it here. Okay, this is the Tunisian Void Shawl, designed by Stephanie Aaron. It is done in Surrey Alpaca at the Fringe, which is absolutely stunning. And the main body of the shawl was done in um, Merino by Feisty Fibers. It was lovely to work with. Surrey Alpaca is so soft. Now, the next shawl up is, oh, designed by Antoinette Calder. This is the Island Hug Shawl. It is a pocket shawl done in a number four worsted weight. Uh, pattern is still in process, hopefully to be released by fall. And it can be really done in any size yarn. You just have to adjust your needle size to the pattern. And that is the Island Hug Shawl. If you're enjoying the background, I had to do this by myself. I don't have anybody to operate the camera, so it's just me. This is Hedwig the Owl Shawl by Petra Pearl. The pattern can be found on Crazy Patterns. It was done in a number four, lightweight three acrylic yarn. And the pattern was intermediate. Um, but it, uh, it can be done. The next shawl up is the Side to Side Granny Shawl, which has been part of the hashtag Outside Your Comfort Zone hashtag Shawl Challenge that we have going on at the Yanni Yaya's Facebook page. This designer was Alessandra. I'm going to mess her last name up. P-O-G-G-L-I-A-L-I-A-G-L-O-L-I-O-M-I. And the pattern can be found in the Issue 64 Crochet Now magazine. This was done in Burnett Sheepish, Vicki Howell. I had a lot of fun doing it. And it can be done side to side or up and down. There's two ways to do the shawl. The colors were citrus and lime. The fringe is yet to be steamed, but had a lot of fun doing the shawl. This is my first attempt at doing voiceover, so hopefully it works well and it'll come out all right. It's tough to do when you're the one man, one woman show, but we'll make it work. And it's my first quote fashion show. This is the Lost in Time Shawl. I did this a while ago. It's by Johanna Lindahl. And a lot of people have done this shawl. I did this in a Karen Bake Cake. And I believe it was done in the Honey Glaze. 
color. I don't even know if you can get that color anymore. And I really enjoy doing this shawl. I'd like to do another one down the line. I very seldom do a pattern a second time, but I, I would like to do it in the lightweight yarn that she used. But that is the Lost in Time shawl. And as of the filming of this, it was 90 degrees outside, so it was a little warm wearing these shawls. Okay, now we're going to do sweaters. Okay, first up is the Rick Rack Knitted Sweater. It's the Rick Rack 424 by Michelle Porter of Fondle Patterns Design. This was a test that I did. It's done in fingering weight yarn and mohair held together. It was a really easy pattern to do, and it's a lovely sweater. And I enjoy doing it, and she has very a lot of options. This next sweater is the Spring Boho Crochet Sweater by Anu of Anu Crochet Designs. I did this in a swirl pie, and it's got accent sleeves. Very, very soft yarn. And it was a very easy, she's got tutorials for this pattern. Next up is the oversized sweater for beginners by Alicia of Little John's Yarns. Basically it's a big granny square. And I did this in Red Heart with Love Metallic in three different colors, four different colors. And I, it was a lot of fun, and I added a little bit to it, changed the pattern, just to, just slightly put some trim on it myself. But it's a, it was an easy sweater to do. Now next up, we have the Seasons of Change cardigan. And this was from the Crochet Magazine, and is designed by Nicole Wang. It is crocheted, and you can make it however long you want. I added on the cuffs, changed this, like I said, changed the design just a little bit by adding to the cuffs. Relatively easy pattern to do. The construction of it was very unique. It's done all in one piece. And the final installment is, okay, there's the Juliet top, done. This was designed by unknown. There was no designer on the page. This was a vintage pattern that was from Craving Crochet's Vintage Wednesday. She has it on her Craving Crochet Facebook page. Um, she has a tutorial for that puff sleeve portion of it. Um, I had a lot of fun. I did it in Shaw on the Ball, Moonstone. Uh, now I did the large size and it needs some adjustments but the sleeves are a little long but I just have to pull the puff part up a little bit, which is where it's supposed to be puffed up. And it's kind of bulky right now because I have shorts Juliet underneath top. it. Finally finished. But it's done. And Sleep yes, I muted out while I was talking. The sleeves That's are a little okay. long. But I'm doing a voiceover on this, so I just muted She's out what done. I was saying in the there will be voiceovers video. But that's the Juliet video. top. I'm going to get out of this because it's 90 degrees. And then I'm going to go in and edit this video and get all of the patterns and everything uploaded. So I hope you liked my little fashion show out on my deck. I hope you liked the backdrop of where I live. I'm going to go in because I'm dying here in the heat. Saying bye for now from Deer Island. And remember, hug, smiles, and happiness. Pass it on. Make the world a better place, and we'll see you in the next video.